that's like a thing that I've, that I've organized in my head about the division of labor of this work, separating the levels of decision making and composing in, in say like the studio machine, the operation. And uh, all of these works have, have come from this kind of system. The uh, painting, painting, well, for instance, the training models here, I, I made stacks and stacks of, of, uh, of the right angle joints. And that is the only component in all of these, is that right angle. There's two sizes, a nine inch and a seven inch, I think. Uh, seven by seven and a nine by nine. And, and, I, and I used all the wood in my studio that I could find. There's plywood, there's fur, there's all. And I just made as many as I could. And I had a, a domino joiner and I, and, I, and I put them together, clamped them and set them aside. And then I started gessoing them. And I gessoed them and, and sanded it down and and uh, then I started painting them, and each one was its own thing. I was painting it and trying to get a surface on it that I liked, that felt right, that was interesting. And I'd set it in the stack, and I developed stacks of these things, and I had stacks of gessoed ones, I had stacks of painted ones, I had stacks of, of raw ones, and then I, then I, then I started making things out of them. At that point, they were found objects. You know, they were found pieces of right angle things with color to them that, that uh, then I was trying to make some sense out of that by composing with them. Same with those, you know, I had stacks and stacks. Those are those pieces and the, and the pieces back in that corner and the two on the stands are all out of the same stacks and stacks of panels. I cut plywood panels, I had cradled panels. Every time I go to the art store, I pick up all the eight by 10 cradled panels they had and put them in the stack and keep, keep working. And then before long, I had enough of them that I could start trying to do things with. And so it's, it's that division of labor uh, that in my mind uh, becomes a kit, of, is like the formation of a kit of parts. And that, that kit of parts can also be a kit, a, a, a kit of parts as ideas. It can be strategies. It can be uh, concepts and references. It can be a, like a reference that I, that I find, a semaphore reference that I find here that I want to use in another strategy with another set of materials somewhere else. Uh, you know, when I design a, and build uh, speaker components, with the idea that I want to do a sound installation and once I start working on the speaker components, I start getting really interested in the, like how do you make good speakers? And I start doing research and, and I go down this path until I have a room full of speakers and now I say, what do I, what do, I do? I need to collect other things. I need to collect amplifiers now. I need to explore uh, the relationship between these things. Uh, I end up exploring sound as a drawing process. And if I'm exploring sound as a drawing press process, can I, can I somehow explore drawing as a sound making process? Can I, right? It's like, it's, you go back to that Feynman quote, it's like, if you can understand it this way, can you understand this other thing in the same way? And if you, if you start to understand this other thing in that way, can you understand this other thing in, in that way? And you just, and I just walk around, walk around the studio with it. And, and, uh, and then I have like these small compositions and I've got a bunch of those. And Joe says, let's have a show. And I say, what tools do I want to take to Joe's to have a show with? And I bring these tools. And this is a completely unique set of tools based on our conversations, the history of the other exhibitions that I've had. And now this is a new composition. 